got some clear ballistics FBI blocks out at the range today. You know the drill. I'm incrementally building up to bigger and better things. So first things first, to really see how good or how rigid uh, the mounting system is here, I gotta take it out to the range. I'm gonna set FBI block up and I just wanna see what happens in slow-mo. I wanna see, of course, the block flying around and everything, which makes for good slow-mo, but I also wanna see in slow-mo how much the weapon system moves around either on the x or the y axis right you know like going left or right up or down if it keeps a relatively tight group i'll start progressing into different targets but for today first things first before we get to all the sexy stuff downrange, let's 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 eat our vegetables. Let's uh, see what happens with the FBI block. And if all goes well, if uh, this doesn't get sheared off or deploy the airbags or something crazy like that, fingers crossed. First live fire situation. I'm I'm extremely confident in it. This whole system's overbuilt, but you got to test it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I appreciate you for stopping by. Let's get to the range. Come on. Now, uh, of course you're shooting full metal jackets. You're not gonna see, typically when you're shooting a block of ballistics gel, you're gonna see tons of over penetration. Don't expect much. But when you're shooting a, a gun capable of three to 6,000 rounds per minute, you see some pretty interesting things. And watching that jump around is uh, really, really cool in slow motion. But you also see how the bullet was kind of kicked off its course. You see all these weird kind of flowering trajectories in there. It's not like the pedaling that you'd see with a hollow point. It's actually all the different rounds going in different flight paths on there. So that's a really, really cool kind of uh, fact. <laughs> oh, come on. You thought this was going to be a boring video. I have to admit, looking at that in slow-mo, I was a little surprised because I, I don't think I've ever had that many rounds on target for a ballistics gel in the past. So uh, it was a lot of fun. More importantly, and getting the wide shots of this firing in real time, I'm extremely confident in its abilities to hold together and the car not to do anything funky far as the electronics. Again, hindsight's always 2020 in these situations where everyone's like, oh, well, duh, dude. You, like, you, should've, you should've put the car in service mode or whatever. It's like, there, there's a lot of things that you know, are just kind of unknown, like driving this at night uh, I had no idea that there was as many uh, IR lights scanning in there 
um, watching you as you're you're driving, making sure you're awake and not on your phone and everything else. So anyways, uh, if there's anything that you guys would like to see downrange in front of this, I'm really confident in its abilities uh, and capabilities at this point. So we're gonna start progressing. I'm gonna put some bigger targets downrange, maybe get it a little bit further downrange, maybe build up to some ordnance, maybe even a driving course. Heck, I'd be interested in potentially even like racing this car with the weapon system on it against other vehicles. So if there's anybody out there that you know that you'd like to see me race the car against or something, that could be fun. FYI, on a road course, hot take. I'm curious what uh, anyone who's driven a Plaid has to say about the yoke steering wheel because uh, I got a hot take on that. Uh, maybe I won't say it here so I don't get a lot of dislikes. But uh, anyways, I'm talking enough. Make sure you guys follow Full Mag on the social medias uh, because I've been posting most of the vehicle stuff, weapon systems and everything like that to there. Also have some uh, pretty big surprises in store for you guys. So I'm just gonna keep posting that stuff there. So stay tuned, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you guys and all the support. So uh, yeah, until next time, I don't know what else to say. Have a good day, I, I appreciate you. I treasure our friendship and I'll see you next time. <laughs>